This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday the 23rd of March. Uh, got a little bit of uh, movement on one of the yachts that we talked about recently. So in the last video I made, we talked about um, Motor Yacht Royal Romance and I talked about it being arrested in Rijeka in, uh, in Croatia. And a few people contacted me actually today to, 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 to talk about this. Um, the boat's actually on the move right now and it, it left Rijeka today and it's heading south. And a few people asked me, is it on the run? Is it on the run? I don't think it is on the run. It's, it, it, the, 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 the track that it's made so far, I'll put it on the screen. It's, it's hugging the coast of, Cre of Croatia very, very tightly. And it looks like it's heading to split. And maybe there's a shipyard there or something like that. It's quite possible that they're moving for the safety of the vessel because they, they, they were threatened in, in Rijeka. Um, I don't know. I don't know the circumstances of the move, to be honest, but it is at sea right now. But it is looks like it's heading to a, a port within Croatia. So not, nothing to see there, really, by the looks of it. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about in this video is the, the effect that this has had uh, on the industry. Not so much the industry, but the effect that it's had on the owners of these super yachts and that knock-on effect that it's had on the industry. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how many boats have been seized now. So we'll go, in, we'll go through the boats quickly. So, and there's a, there's a timeline here as well, so um, so you can keep track. So one thing I want to do before we go into the list is say, a lot of a lot of comments about me saying the vessel's been arrested and you can't arrest a vessel, you can only arrest a person and stuff like that. And I've been I've explained this on a few occasions. Arresting a vessel is a, a valid term to use for a vessel that's been prevented from leaving a port. It is this, is it, the reason why I use the phrase arrested rather than seized is because they both have uh, meanings which are different to each other in the industry. Uh, an arrested vessel is a vessel that has been prevented from leaving a port. It's the crew and the owner are still in charge of that vessel. They're just being restricted from leaving. Usually it's because of non-payment of bills to a company in that place that you're currently in. That's normally when it's used. A seized vessel is different. A seized vessel, you are effectively losing control of that vessel. It's been seized by the government and they, they are potentially taking control of that vessel, taking ownership of the vessel. So there's very different meanings of those two words and that's why I'm always specifically saying the vessel is, wasn't seized, it was arrested. So with that in mind, let's, let's move on. So on the 3rd of March, uh, we had Motiot Dilbar, the biggest uh, vessel by volume in the world. Uh, 156 meter or 511 foot super yacht was in Lursen in Hamburg. It was actually in the Blumenvoss shipyard, but it's owned by Lursen now, so I just say Lursen. Um, it was undergoing maintenance work, a refit. It was completely covered. It looks like it was being painted. Um, the the arrest came in for that vessel. Everything stopped. Uh, the, all of the shipyard workers for that vessel down tools. There was no work going on on that vessel at all. Now, you probably remember in that in a video I did, the further video I did, that all of the crew were, were let go, laid off because they um, because the vessel had been arrested. Now, the, the, the arrest the arrestment the arrest of a vessel does not necessarily mean that you have to fire all the crew. But the reason why that happened, as far as I can tell, is is that the 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 assets of the owner were frozen. All the bank accounts that he uses to pay the crew's payroll were frozen and hence he had to let go all the crew uh, until that can be resolved and that's the reason why that crew were let go so that vessel uh, is, is has an estimated value of 650 million dollars also on the same day on the 3rd of March uh, Motiot Amore Vero uh, which is an 85 meter or 281 feet built by Ocean Co that was arrested in La Ciota in France that vessel has been linked to, well, that vessel was owned by Igor Setchen, and uh, as the government of France are suggesting that he still owns it, um, there is a possibility it was transferred into his ex-wife's name, because um, there was a name change as well of that vessel. Anyway, that's still arrested. That has a value of 120 million US dollars. On the 4th of March, uh, Motiot Lady M was arrested. That's a 65 meter or 213 foot vessel Built by Palmer Johnson, was arrested in Imperia in Italy. 
and that is linked to Alexei Mordashov. Now he's the guy who owns Nord, the big uh, 140 meter thing that looks like an aircraft carrier that's uh, heading to Vladivostok right now. We're going to talk about that later, by the way. Um, yeah, so that the value of that vessel is is approximately 55 million dollars. Don't worry, I'm going to tally this at the end, so don't you don't have to keep track. Fifth uh, of March, Moti Yacht Lena. That was a 38 meter or 126 foot San Lorenzo. Uh, and that was seized in San Remo in Italy. Um, and that's linked to Gennady Timchenko. That has a value of uh, $30 million. 9th of March, sailing yacht A, one of the biggest, high pro most high profile yachts in the world, a 142 meter or 468 foot, uh, built by a novice crew. Uh, that was arrested in Trieste in Italy. That was also in, in dry dock, in refit. Uh, that is owned by Andrei Malachenko, and that has an estimated value of $590 million. The 14th of March, a uh, Moti Yacht Valerie, uh, 85 meter or 279 foot, built by Lurson, that was seized in Barcelona. That was actually in Barcelona next to Solaris before it left. So Solaris was docked right next to it. Um, that's uh, linked to Sergei Chemenov, and that has an estimated value of $100 million. 15th of March, uh, Moti Yacht Lady Anastasia. This is the vessel that the Ukrainian chief engineer tried to sink when he saw what was happening to his country on TV. It's a 47 meter or 156 feet, uh, built by Sensation Yachts. That was arrested in Port Adriano in Spain and um, it's an estimated value of 20 million dollars uh, also on the 15th of march moti yacht tango a 78 meter or 254 foot fed ship was arrested in mallorca in spain still there 120 million dollars uh, value and now one of the big boys now uh, 16th of march moti yacht crescent linked to you know who uh, 135 uh, meters or 445 feet built in built built by Lursen in Germany uh, arrested in Tarragona in Spain and there's a slight difference here that this vessel has been arrested because the uh, the management of the vessel could not identify or could not show clearly the who owns this vessel so it's been arrested until they can show exactly who owns it that has a value of 650 million dollars the numbers are crazy, aren't they? Um, also on the 16th of March, Moti Yacht Royal Romance, 92 meter or 202 foot, built by Fedship, 2015, arrested in Rijeka in Croatia, has an estimated value of $200 million. And then uh, in the last video we made, we I predicted this was gonna happen in the previous video to that, when I saw that Axioma was heading to Gibraltar. And then I thought it was a bit odd that they seemed to be heading to Gibraltar as the owner was on, on, on the sanctions list. 21st of March, uh, the 72 meter Axioma headed into uh, Gibraltar and was immediately boarded by authorities and then arrested. And that is uh, linked to Dmitry Pompiansky. And that has an estimated value of $75 million. So unless you're one of those people that can just add up numbers in your head, you probably don't know what that comes to. Uh, the, the grand total of um, uh, the grand total of this is two is two billion seven hundred and sixty million dollars. So two point seven billion dollars worth of super yachts, or the GDP of Aruba. <laughs> if you put the, all of those yachts in a straight line, they would come to nine hundred and ninety eight meters, uh, or, or three hundred or three thousand two hundred and seventy six feet. Or, or the size of uh, nine American football fields, apparently. Um, so yeah, that's quite something, isn't it? Um, yeah. So it's a, the numbers are so off the charts that it, it, it actually takes your breath away to think about it. The the impact on this industry uh, is is uh, it's, it's still. I mean, it's obviously it's still just unfolding. Really. Interestingly, I saw a, a, I saw something that was posted by Boat International on their Instagram uh, feed. So it said something like, "Massive growth in the industry means uh, lots of new jobs for crew." Now that has completely been turned on its head. Um, as a result of all of the boats that we've just listed that have been arrested or seized. Uh, 
and there are other boats that have been affected by what's happening right now even though the owners are, are not on any sanctions lists um, they're just by the fact that they're Russian so what's happening is you know when you go into a port if you're in refit there's lots of companies that deal with you if you're buying new curtains or couches or fuel or parts equipment everything and it's all supplied by different suppliers and a lot of these uh, companies are refusing to do business with any Russian owned boats so a lot of and also uh, a lot of banks have had their uh, money frozen the assets frozen um, the SWIFT system has been disconnected from Russia from large parts of Russia so a lot of the boats that are owned by Russian people who are not on any list have been affected that they've been effectively um, stop they can't operate these boats right they can't pay the crew and stuff like that so as a result of that, there is approximately 1,250 crew members have been laid off. And because, because there's about 70 yachts that are affected that are owned by Russian linked individuals who, are, who can't run their boats anymore, uh, at least for the time being. So yeah, that's, um, that is one of the side effects of this now. And, and it's really impacting the industry. And, and that's just talking about crew. There's obviously all of these companies that can't do business are affected, shipyards, etc. Lurson has got a massive uh, super yacht in one of its dry docks, which it can't move, things like that. So there's a lot, an awful lot of turmoil in this industry, which is which is not great, obviously. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me know what you think about the information I've given you in this video, like all of the yachts that have been uh, arrested. If you've got any information, if you th think I left any boats off, please be sure to put it in the comments. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.